Hey guys and welcome back to Monster Hunter World. Today we're going to be testing out and or trying to showcase a very very cool weapon. It's known as the Charge Blade. It's also known as being one of the harder weapons to master. Um, because the weapon has everything. Yeah, <laughs> it's it can do pretty much everything uh, with a few exceptions. But it's very combo heavy slash prep heavy. Uh, prep. <laughs> prep is what I said. Point being, bit hard to master and tame. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. <laughs> I can't promise anything. I've used it for like four or five hours and I think I have an understanding of it. Um, but sadly, I gotta make a video like quicker <laughs> than I'd like. So yeah, cause life and etc. Anyways, the charge blade that we're gonna be using is actually Nora Magmaros, the, the, the rock, the dragon mountain <laughs> creature, him. Uh, we're gonna be using that equivalent. It's actually pretty easy to attain if you just keep cycling, uh, Nora's quests. Um, his like event quests that will probably pop up at some point. Pretty easy to get. I'm not sure <laughs> if it is the best equivalent, uh, because there's actually no blue sharpness. Uh, like if you go over here, you guys can see there's blue sharpness. If you go over here, you guys can see that there's a lot of blue sharpness. Um, and now, I think I heard somewhere that that's partially good. That there is no blue type of sharpness, because I think if you get like sharpness extender or something like that, you can potentially get white. Or something like that. I don't know. It was something. <laughs> Damn it. Anyways, we're off to the training arena. I'll do my best to showcase some of its abilities in a contained manner, not when fire and dragon tail is beside me and this weapon wrecks. But it takes takes a bit sometimes. You need to keep, get your ducks in a row before you are able to hit. Um, because I fucked up, <laughs> but because um, the charge blade is exactly what it sounds like. It's a weapon that you have to charge up and then everything comes crashing down. But it sometimes is annoying to charge it up. It'll make sense, I promise. <laughs> okay, I just downed half my coffee. Let's do this. My eyes are watering. <laughs> it's just black coffee anyways. Okay, so we have our Y attack, which is just good damage, as well as it builds slight charge. Nothing crazy. Um, and then we have our O attack, which primarily builds charge. Um, and yeah, also, something, something that this weapon does that no other weapon in my experience does is it massively utilizes not only combos, but two buttons at once. Uh, so if we button mash two buttons, we do that, and then we do this. Now that, it disperses power at your enemy, uh, which is really, really good. Anyway, so we have our base attacks, which is just this. Boom, boom, boom. Boring shit. Secondly, we have our charge attack, which we want to hold. And when we do this, we want to always make sure we have that. And then we want to couple it with that, because that builds charge like crazy. All right, so if you look at our sword and or our vials, uh, it's it can, our sword is containing power right now. So now we need to deploy our power into our shield, storing it. And how we do that is this, this, um, we've stored it, and now it's in our shield. Now you can see our vials are primed, um, but we didn't have the maxed power in our sword, hence why we didn't get full vials. The combination that I like to use um, is, of course, this, and then this. And then coupling it with a Y, and then just keep doing that. Because that builds charge like wild, as well as it keeps you extremely mobile. The only thing is that it's a bit different when it comes to, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> when it comes to using uh, certain bosses. A boss that is very tiny and staying in one place, which typically doesn't happen. Uh, but, yeah, uh, that combination for me, I haven't heard anyone say it, but it's the one I'm using. It could be bad, I don't know. But anyways, you charge up, you let it loose, you do this, and then you use your mobility move, this, and then you do this, and then you just stay on him. You can go the other way if you desire. I kind of fucked it up, but the point still remains. It's really easy to recover, as you guys can see. But ultimately, this is the best way to build charge, is this. Boom, and then hold it down again. Um, and when it becomes too powerful, it'll start to be hot like that. So that requires you to deploy um, it into your shield, and then it's good to go. It's cooled down. You've stored the power, but now we need to gain more power. Now, quickly breathing by the more advanced slash mind-breaking things. Um, we are going to... Th the reason why I love this this so much, and it, to me it's f significantly funner um, to use rather than the uh, bow and arrow. No uh, hate <laughs> if you like the bow and arrow. Personally, this just shares many similarities with my true love, the glaive. Um, it shares many similarities to the glaive in terms of you being able to store power in different ways. Um, so one of the things that you can do is you can go this, and then this, and then this, and then we cancel, and now our sword, or our shield, <laughs> our shield is purple, and can do a great many things. When we block, which 
Okay, first of all, when we block um, and it's amped up like this, it creates a feedback. So if an enemy hits it, it's going to do a tiny bit of damage to them. As well as I think gives you some resistance. It does some passive things that are more in line with defense. It's a shield. <laughs> it makes sense. Anyways. Now, it's very important to note, when your shield is amped up like this and is infused with power, not only does it deplete your, your power cells, um, but the more power cells it depletes, the longer it's going to last. Um, and we can also amp up our sword, which makes it so it no longer tings even if it's red hot. Um, so how we amp up our sword is this, and then this, and you can only do this when your shield is amped first. Um, you can see our, sh our sword is now red and right up top side as well. Um, yeah, this will stop it from a basically, uh, well, all, it does two things. It gives it a feedback. So as you guys see, electricity is hitting every single time we are hitting, uh, creating kind of like a feedback every single time we hit, uh, which is lovely. But even if we get our sword up to red, we're still able to hit because it's no longer banking off anymore, which is lovely. Now, um, one of the things that you can do to dispel all of your, your, energy your power cells using your great axe which i'll showcase in a minute is this boom boom and then give it a minute boom what happened to my power cells for whatever reason i didn't use it that's fucked up <laughs> anyways let's do it again <laughs> boom and then this and give it a minute and then here we go that's what we wanted but as you guys seen it used all our power cells so that is the general thing that is is meant for charging and de depleting in a way that's if you're trying just to get as much vials as you can and spam them out as quick as possible that's not always applicable when aiming with this is difficult and i don't have as much experience in that <laughs> aiming and being super on point and knowing exactly how to get around certain things still fairly new memorize the combos though Kind of, <laughs> kind of. Anyways, let's build up our combo. Do one of those, do one of these, hold that, do one of these, do one of those. Oh, and now we're red hot, nice. Now let's store our power. Okay, uh, now this is what your ax looks like when it morphs into insanity. R1 this, right, boom. And now it's morphed into a huge, huge uh, ax. <laughs> now what you can do with this, and it's kind of cool, is it's an infinite uh, melee attack combo, which is just this, just smashing Y does that, infinitely. Um, and look at the height that you're getting on this. You're getting to the very peak of that one thing, so you're able to hit things that are very high up. Uh, so if a, a Lagana is flying in the air, you're able to hit him typically like this. Now, the negative is that you move in super slow and that you have to really roll to get anywhere. Good news is that attacking doesn't really use any stamina at all, so we're fine. The main reason why you're going to want to stay in big axe mode is because you can actually throw a charge slash elemental discharge through the weapon. And this can uh, take away one vial per hit. Or whatever. Anyways, this is nope. Didn't want to do that. God damn it. Uh, but yeah, if we start hitting O, we're gonna start to do an elemental discharge, which is that electricity. I currently have uh, an explosive equivalent and all that jazz, um, and it always comes back. But we can cancel that by dodging. So if we if we do this, if we do this. Also, we can hit triangle. There's a thousand different ways to cancel that so that you can keep uh, your sword in your hands and not go back to the tiny sword. Um, and yeah, there's tons of different combinations. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's how the sword works. Let me try not to shit the bed and use it. <laughs> yeah. We can do this. Boom, with the heavy tack, and that's pretty sweet. Um, and yeah, I, I love the weapon. To me, it's fantastic. I, oh, by the way, one thing that I, I mean, it's, I didn't know about it. <laughs> so maybe someone else didn't know about it. But if you are using melee weapons, say, say you use the guns or the uh, glaives such as me, and then you try something else, like a melee weapon, um, and then you're like, oh, there's this huge problem that is the, just impossible and annoying. <laughs> and it's the winged creatures such as Lagana or Aragarin that are fast. Just creatures that you just need to stay on the ground or just pause for a minute. Use flash pods to do this. Um, I was fighting Lagana and was going to crank a bullet in my head because it was so painfully annoying that he kept just flying. And I was out of his out of the reach because I was using the dual blades. The stream was yelling at me <laughs> to use flash pods, and I was like, what the fuck are you guys on about? I was using the glaive for all the game. <laughs> Anyways, guys, let's actually go take down some creatures. Let's go take down um, the one creature that I'm actually, I want to fight because I think it'll be interesting fighting him as a, a melee user. 
um, like a very strictly melee is the big explosive s I'll just show you. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Also, yes, yes, I'm sure there are better equivalents of the weapons that I'm using and yada yada yada. I know, I know. I'm happy though that there's finally an explosive equivalent of a like a legendary. Like a, a gold or an orange. There's a this, <laughs> which is lovely. By the way, just a wee bit different <laughs> from uh from me. Oh, by the way, I recorded yesterday. I'm not, this is not like a week in advance. <laughs> yeah, I just cut my hair last night, so some people are like, what the fuck happened? No, no, the video's not that desynced, um, but I do believe I have a quest for the guy that I'm tr I was trying to explain. Yes, right here. 30 minutes. Okay, well, <laughs> I don't have excessive confidence <laughs> in this, uh, because I'll be honest, I'm still in the learning phases for this weapon. I'm okay at it. <laughs> it's not great. Yeah, okay, so I think I want to make two videos, guys. This video is mainly just explaining as well as showcasing some gameplay um, and my excitement for the weapon as well. Uh, but then I probably will make a part two fighting one of the creatures that we might fight both Bezel and Vala. Because Vala, I think, would be a pretty good contender for this weapon as well. Like being able to fight and actually put up some sort of fight. Yeah. But anyways, that's the next video. In this video, let's just start real simple, real slow, and make all the things happen. You know, let's put more stress on me to beat him like this. Shit. Shit. Hey, uh, guys, on a side note, hey, look look who's moving up in the world. Check this shit out. I can't show you. <laughs> shit. But I, I unlocked all the, uh, the fertilizer. <laughs> so thanks to every, honestly, there's so many people that are just fantastic who are like, hey, on like on stream, in the Discord, in comments. Um, thank you all. <laughs> people who've been just giving me a, like, hey, stop being so inefficient because I hate it. I appreciate you guys doing that. You guys might be like, well, why don't you just learn? And I'm like, I do from you guys. <laughs> you guys are my catalyst for survival. If I didn't have you, fucking what would happen to me? I don't know. I want to think about it. All right, no time to waste. Give me some food. <laughs> We're wasting time. We could have done this beforehand. Also, I was actually kind of surprised. There's not that many charge weapon or charge blade buffs that exist within armor. I think there was like one that gives you one more blast cell, which is good <laughs> but yeah i was expecting ones like hey it's easier to attain heat or whatever charge for your sword to imbue in your in your uh, shield great but it's no <laughs> none of that's a thing which is crazy oh i think i went to the wrong ish place yes he's over here correct i believe yes 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 you are all right let's make it happen oh did i equip the wrong guy the no i think this is our enemy no we're fine this is it right what? The fuck is happening? Oh, we digged under the ground completely and it's gone that way. Okay. Shit. That's fucked up, dude. He's, he's gone. There you are. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Please. I could flash bomb, bomb you, but I, I don't want to. <laughs> Please. This. Nope, I don't want to do that. Oh, also, I blunt weapons are your probably best friend when fighting him. Oh, I knew that was going to hurt. It didn't hurt that bad. We're okay. Okay, yep. Also, my god. Do they do something to the Elder Rhesus where everybody just wants to fight you? Because, like, I, I just want a one... Like, fight me. Just one dragon, please. Yay, we got some damage there. Okay. Uh, can we just start... We can just... Oh, we have full discharge. Nice. All right, let's get our shield amped up. We're just going to do this any... Okay, great. Yep, thanks. Thanks for that, man. You're the greatest. I love when I can't just fight one thing. Also, being knocked unconscious when you're burning alive... Yeah, that's the best time to try to be, like... I feel a little bit out of it. Yeah, no, maybe it's because your flesh is melting off your body, you fucking idiot. Maybe, maybe that's something. I'm so happy right now, guys. I've never been more glad in my entire life. Also, switch out of that. Goddamn. Yep, I thought I was out of range. It was not. Uh, this. 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 Give me my, there we go. Fucking great. Also, yeah, sure, give me some healing. Yep, love this. Oh, that hit me. Yep, I love being a melee user. It's my favorite thing in the world. And more of this. We actually broke. We broke something? How? Boom, boom. Right, now we have our charge. Nice. Now we're running. We're running. Also this. And boom. Yes, fucking that. Also, this creature actually... No, he ran away. Nope, he's just uh, going nuts. Okay. Uh, this creature might be big enough for me to be uh, using that, that special attack thing I have, which is this. Boom. Boom. And let's do it! <sighs> yes! 
Ah, those are the moments that feel so unbelievably satisfying. Uh, but we need to build up our combo again. Also, what is everything right now? Everything's freaking out. Oh, also store power. And run away, and run away. Yep, okay, you're poisoned. Also, slightly ow. Let's do this. Nope, nope, I didn't want to do that, but it works fine. I just wanted to get to my big combo, my big weapon combo. Great, no, no damage, also ow. Yeah, I feel like my way of playing is I just want to disperse all my my power as quick as possible. <laughs> That's the way I, I do it. It works out quite well with me. Oh, come on. Oh, I powered up my sword. It's okay. <laughs> it's not the worst. Can I move? Can I please move? God, such an unfun mechanic that it's just like, hey, you don't get a move, ass. <laughs> get fucked, <laughs> basically. Ah, so close. That is something about the charge blade. Is I, You need to get good at, like, lining things up, which is pretty much the entire weapon, I think. It's not so much about, like, just make it up as you go along. Also this. Nice. Got some power cells. Um, oh, but my one weapon is about to leave. This. This. And what, I, what was I talking about? My shield was about to deplete, so I had to refill it. We're gonna run over here. We're just gonna, uh... There is a way you can move faster, which is this, and then this, and then that, and then you're in a combo, and it's great. Also, if I could just, if I could, yep, just, I hate this. Why the fuck is knockback in your knees so goddamn brittle? What, what thing do I need to make that so that doesn't happen? God fucking damn it. Every time I'm trying to beat anyone up, they're just like, hey, fucking UFC sidekick right to the ankles, and I'm like, great. Or the knees. Knees would have made more sense to me. Point being, gaga, fuck, <laughs> fuck. Um, yeah, let's sharpen a weapon. Yeah, I hate not having a, a blue tier weapon. So I feel like that's pretty, like, up there. Oh, by the way, I, I still love explosives. Way more than dragon. It's just this is the, ar the uh, this armor set, the one that I'm in love with, happens to buff, uh, goddamn dragon attack. <laughs> so, you know, we deal, <laughs> is what I'm saying. Also, I definitely need to, like, I don't know, farm manure or something like that, because I can't fight shit with these people the way they are. Yep, your face is the worst. Ah. Oh, I didn't mention this, but it's actually really cool. And when it comes to his base melee, um, oh wow, that was lucky. Um, when it comes to his base melee, he has guard stances at the end of some of his uh, melee moves, which is fantastic. I didn't mean to do that, but also, ow. I don't even know what's happening. Uh, I could use a flash pod, but... Okay. Yeah, sure, let's just use our heavy attack, because we're not able to really get to him. Or, I, I think I'm kind of inadvertently taking on two at once, which is not what I want, by the way. No, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it's going to take a little bit. I mean, it kind of worked because I ended up discharging my power, but anyways. Oh, manure would be great. So many fights in this hell pit, and I knew that was happening. I seen it happen, I let it happen, I fu- Yep, on fire, just a bit dizzy. Doesn't matter that my flesh is melting off the bone. A great time to feel a little boozy. Yep, definitely uh, being on fire doesn't invoke fear and panic. Rather, no, just being out of it <laughs> is what it- Thank you so much. Um, also, the cool thing is about the charge up, it has a very high attack. Um, so it's- you're probably gonna get your hit if you're able to make the charge happen. I think that's enough power. Let's store it. Let's also, uh, get our shield buff back. Oh, how? Oh, how? <laughs> Come on, more of this. Yep, the roar. That's the one thing that this game, the one thing I, I think it's very obvious that I just hate with a passion is the stunning and the and the lack of playing. <laughs> is is when you get like dizzy or shit like that. Not dizzy I I get. Like when you get hit hard and your character's like, oh I can't breathe or I can't what happened? It makes sense. But when you're like getting staggered and shit, anything like that drives me fucking mental and you guys I think feel my pain. Oh, also, let's do this. I want my my buff for my sword, which is this. No, it's not. It's not what it is. Oh, my God. I can't even... What's the combo? I'm so uh, forgotten there. Okay, here we go. It's this. Give it a minute. Whatever. We ch No, we didn't charge our sword. Fucking Christ. We're on fire. Get out of there. This is the biggest mess I think I've ever had, man. All right, let's do this. And come on, quickly. No, I didn't. That was enough. I was impatient. Oh, but nice block me. Oh, this. And come on. There we go, something. All right, let's let's uh, let's do this combo.
What happened? I don't even know. Okay. <laughs> uh, what happened? Was I poisoned? I must have been poisoned and burning and I just forgot about my health. I check it every like 30 minutes. We must have got hit hard and I did, did not know. Hmm. Okay. So as you can tell, killing it with the wet. I'm okay. I'm not like, I'm not at the point where I'm good, <laughs> but I'm, I'm getting it. Like I know what, what the combos are. I just don't know exactly how to like jump in between them yet, which just comes from, I think, playtime. Just playing a shit ton of the game. Um, but let's dodge. Let's dodge. Okay, so let's do one of these, this, and come on. Why? Why is that not working? What? Why? I Isn't it? It's why, this. There we go. Come on, do before he hits. Thank you. That was a good bit of damage. Great. Yep. Staggered again. Because other monsters keep roaring, and it's just painfully unfun. Oh, he's, he's limping and shit. Didn't mean to do that. Didn't mean to do that. De-equip. De-equip. Yep. Charge blade. Charge blade. Charge the files. Also fire. Also fire. And that's probably what's killing me. And you stunned me. I hate stunning so fucking much. I realize I'm coming across this little bitch right now, but Jesus. It's like, come on, I just want to do anything but this. <laughs> anything but just stand here and watching my character be an idiot. Like, I get it, they're loud. You've Your eardrum should be shot. <laughs> like, you should be deaf. I'll take it. Kill the audio. Just let me fucking beat him at, at, at like a good pace and stop feeling this, like, stopped. Goose Fraba, we're okay, guys. No, we're not. We're not. We're clearly not okay. Come on, just give me a sec. Nope, not enough time. I jumped into that, trying to get close enough to where he hit. I don't know how he detonated them. And I'm stunned. I thought he wouldn't go all the way around. He did. I'm so happy I missed that somehow. Oh, that's gonna blow up. Roll, roll, roll. Ah, I didn't have enough time. Damn combo lasts a long time. Yeah, it was something. Roll out of there, me. Oh, we need health. And he's left again. Come on, dude. Just stay in one location. I knew this fight was going to be annoying. Hence why I, <laughs> I did it. Because he, he's one of the only enemies that litters the ground with shit. Um, so every time you're, like, doing your combo and you happen to be right beside a, a bomb, you're like, yeah, fucking kill me. <laughs> Build up our thing. Nope, apparently not. I hit the wrong side of him. Also, didn't mean to change into that. Still not perfect at this whole thing. Ah, uh, stay still. There we go. Finally, something. All right, we're maxed out. Come on, let me let me deploy. Let me deploy my thing. Some of this, nice. Okay, now let's actually get our shield back. Cool. Now we gotta get more vials. But of course, I think this is his, his arena, so he'll basically do his bullshit, uh, which is bouncing off every wall. Didn't mean to do that, but it happened. I right, got some things. Let's do this. Ah, slightly off. Again, slightly off. Uh, yeah, this is the funnest move. You can just turn right around and see it. Just want to get close to him. I know there's a combo that you can get close to him, but Jesus. I did. How, when did that blow up? Did they blow up when they were close to you? I thought it was like a predetermined time. Yep, he's just going to keep doing this. You know what? Fuck your bullshit. Shut the fuck up for just a goddamn minute. Jesus Christ. Let's do one of those. Okay. Yeah. You're more, more annoying than anything I've ever experienced. Great. Now that's not enough to kill you. Let's just hit him with our, our heavier, bigger, big parts. Uh, yeah, the whole tiny sword isn't really working, and this is working fairly well. Just chopping him at him. Everything's a crit, apparently. Awesome. He's kind of just accepting this. I'm actually not even mad. This is great.
Oh, run away from the explosions. Um, now store, store that. Nice run. Oh, he's actually downed. Now hit him with the extra charge. There we go. Yeah, nothing's really hitting that hard, but still, still nice in theory. Oh, I love it. It takes a lot to get that final hit, but that final hit, man, does it hit hard, and it's beautiful. Also, this is gonna, yeah, I'm gonna pay for this. I'm fine. <laughs> I'm fine with paying for that. Let me hit ya. Got him. Jesus. And boom. If I were to keep going, he'd dispel all of it. God. Yeah, the more, like, the more the fight goes on, the more that they start to roar. And to me, it's it's such a bad gameplay mechanic. And I know, and to me, the thing that sucks is that there's something called earplugs, which is the direct counter to all of that. So it's almost like they know it's a problem that people hate and makes it extremely unfun, but you have to give up so many armor slots just to have that. I think it's kind of worth it because the amount of time you're sitting there like, oh, my, my fucking ear, boom, kill him. Kill, I want to kill my own character right now. God damn it. Is that our main character? Or maybe shield, should I say, because that's the one also negative about the weapon. I love this charge blade. Don't get me wrong. That, my, my anger was not at the charge blade so much as it was at the damn roaring and the stun shit because it's like, come on. Just for a fucking second. Just give me a minute. Just a minute where I can hit you and you're not like roaring at me. Also, every boss, man, every fucking boss always fights me in the Rotten Vale. Not just one, everyone collectively hates each other enough to just stick on each other. I'm in a great mood, <laughs> okay? Hey, I woke up in the best of moods and then this kind of, you know, it fucked me a little bit. <laughs> but point being is that we did it um, in a 30 minute time span. Hopefully that wasn't too, too long. I'm gonna make a pit stop at the arena, uh, the training arena, because I want to check one thing out. It was one thing I kept trying to do, but I kept messing up on. Um, and it's it's the full depletion thing. Also, uh, I think I depend too much on that mentality of the fastest way to get a charge sometimes isn't the fastest way to get charged. Sometimes you're better off just, just hitting. Just hitting, hitting, hitting. And whenever your sword's full, I uh, mean, it happened a little bit less fast, but you're con consistently putting damage on the enemy rather than having to wait, charge, hit, hit, boom, etc. Uh, so I think that is something to note. Oh, but the thing I wanted to show you guys at the beginning was this. Uh, if we go to fertilize, I did all the missions. Uh, I only really needed to... Uh, it's annoying that you can't just back out, but um, I uh, all I needed to do was just give them deliveries, and I got all oh, this other fertilizer, which apparently soft fertilizer is what you're after, because um, that essentially resets all of your good fertilizers, so you don't have to keep spending it, which is great, which is wonderful. I really hope there's a charge blade that's not that huge. I hope no Dragantes isn't that big. I think it's a little bit tinier. Like I just at least want to see my characters. Just in anything, you know, some of his head more than just what I see now. <laughs> On a side note, guys, these are the wonderful charge blades. I actually have this one because I loved explosives, which was slightly <laughs> a bit of a waste because I ended up getting this one, which, yeah, <laughs> it doesn't have... It's legendary and shit, and it's great, and it does so much damage, and da 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 da, -da. Uh, But I will say, I think, uh, I think, uh, Nergigante is, is pretty up there. It looks pretty wicked. In the sense that it's just like a bunch of, it's like a thorny stick. Also, its shield, I think, is not that huge. Alright, so one of the things I wasn't doing, and it's, I was in an angry state. <laughs> so it's not easy to think <laughs> when you're mad as shit. Again, now we got full vials, perfect. The thing I wanted to do was this. Um, I think it's Y, up this attack, and then this attack. Yeah, and it fully deploys every single vial that you have doing dealing significant damage. But let's see, can you do that with just a little bit? Let's deploy that. All right, we have three vials. Let's see if we can do that again. Um, and that's Y, or triangle, this, and then this. I think I'm, I'm off by a little bit there. Yeah, no, you deploy everything. Okay, so that is how you do it. Okay, so it, as long as you end the combo with that big hit, you deplete all of them. Okay. All right. Many things I could improve upon. Hopefully, I'll show you guys that in the next video. Because <laughs> that's what we're going to be doing. We're going to be fighting more things, but I don't want this video to be too long. This is more just an introduction into a very fun weapon. Um, a weapon that I think uh, is like known, I think, in the community of being like this super daunting thing. It's not that bad. Um, the, ment the mentality is extremely fun. And that's the thing that I, I like about the weapon immensely. That's the thing that keeps me invested is its payout. It feels fantastic. Now, like, when the, when you're playing with the arrow, to me, personally, some people may love the bow, uh, but I think it's fun. Like, it feels like you're throwing pebbles at the creature rather than just smacking him and beating the hell out of this creature with a weapon that's pretty much its size. <laughs> um, and it just feels really rewarding every single time you sync up things. 
And again, I love a weapon that you can keep amping up as well. That's my favorite thing. That's why I love the glaive so much, is the fact that you can have so many buffs on you that affect you greatly. Um, and the best part about the, uh, the charge blade, which is something I wish they would do with uh, the glaive. They made it so just by the sheer act of you dealing damage and things like that, you're building your buffs, your, your side buffs. Uh, which is lovely. Um, in fact, the one thing I really hope they add to the glaive, which I'm not sure they will, um, is if your your Kensect was completely detached to your kind of weapon. And what I mean by that is, um, when you're in the air, I would love to send my Kensect after a location and pull him back. And then maybe for him to default on just attacking the creature that I last hit. Um, because it's extremely annoying to like make sure you're flat-footed, tell your Kensec to hit a certain location uh, when I could be in the middle of like jumping through the air and if I have good enough aim in air um, I could tell my Kensec to hit his head and um, then come back to me and then maybe just keep dealing damage if I throw him out again because uh, right now he just impacts and just kind of stays there and I think that'd be really cool if he impacted and then just started uh, beating the shit of the last creature he hit um, I understand why you have to like uh, hit a dart on them and all that but still Anyways, regardless guys, that does bring us to the end of the video. In the next video, we're going to be taking on the Bezel Gas and what was the other one? Uh, oh right, uh, Vala, the, the armor that I'm wearing right now. Vala, I want to take down with that just to see um, because he has a lot of like close range attacks and it'll be a annoying fight that I want to show as possible. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching as always. Subscribe button above me, two videos to my right. I appreciate you guys for the time you've given me and goodbye.